And yes, a Joe Public could go up and go, well, that's just rubbish, anyone could do it. Mm-hmm. But the, the, the component they're saying anyone could do it is just the written word. Mm. That, the actual act of doing it in the location, they're not getting it. Not anyone could do that. Only, no. only a few select individuals yeah. c- c- can do that. Yeah. So you can take something so basic as just just writing like that, and it's it's not easy. Killer Killer Podcast. Killer Killer Official Street Culture TV. Instagram UK Frontline. Beatbox created. Killer Killer. And we need to talk about world music and street culture. Killer Killer Podcast. Are you ready? For your travelling. Ladies and gentlemen, Killer Killer Podcast live and direct. Central London or as central as what? Central as you need to be. Serves you jolly well right. Uh, thank you for joining us. Sharing is caring. Spread the word. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Our sponsors, the mighty GK Nifty Heads, have a massive 100,000 play to earn NFTs to give away to the streets. Just hit the link in the description or go to gkniftyheads.com and get ready for Hoddle Wars Summer 2024. Um, and if you want more of that good stuff, you know, the Television app is also there, uh, along with all the other amazing things that you can find on uh, the Television channel, from Graph Battle to walk tours to mini docs big docs small docs DJ mixes and more it's all there um, so we have a gentleman here that uh, arguably I think has travelled the furthest in the UK than any of my guests uh, he left about 3 o'clock this morning <laughs> he's joking uh, but uh, you'll be uh, you'll be very pleased to hear that if he did he would be out on a rampage because uh, he's part of the Night Shifters the TNS um, and if you know about your Newcastle crew then you'll know this name the Grand Imperial Brother Inch inside the house. How are we? All good, man. Thanks for having Legacy me on. Legacy holding in the building. Brilliant. Thanks for having <laughs> me, man. <laughs> I love it. So if, if you're not uh, w- uh, watching and listening, um, Inch is donning a rather attractive mask, which off the bat I was like, this is going to be one. <laughs> like, it's going to shock the fuck out of people. And But it actually does not help because I, can't, I cannot read your face apart from the one you've got on. <laughs> yeah. You can't tell whether I'm smiling, laughing or what, can you? No, I can't. He's absolutely <laughs> thrilling the fuck out. But, you know, for those that don't know, he's a very attractive man. He's just, uh, you know... For all very charming. Are, There's a big smile on my face. Right now, he's smiling. <laughs> Smiling. He's smiling, dying for a drink, but he's a uh, he, he's in good stead. How you doing? How's how's the journey uh, down? All right. Very swift. Yeah? It's just one stop. <laughs> yes. <Yeah. laughs> yeah. How many hours is it from Newcastle? Just shy of three. Three hours. Yeah, I think it was uh, two hours fifty-five. Yo, that's quick. Uh, going to Blackpool is a whole different. Going to Man- Manchester's not too bad, but you know Leeds is a long way away. You know, the, the northern quarters, uh, you know, they're hard to get to for us, uh, you know, southern shady <laughs> drinkers. <laughs> I'll say the cliche is north of Watford, isn't it? Therefore, you, you struggle. Yeah, it's struggling. <laughs> I mean, you're you're very well versed in the, the systems down here in London. But uh, I have to, I just have to hail up my Newcastle crew. Big shout out to Swaney. Um, big shout out to all the TNS guys. Um, uh, I just feel the moment you hit the bridge and you land in Newcastle, I have such an affliction for it. I feel like I'm in another, whole other island. It's one of my favourite places to be, man. Well, is that you as an individual or as a performer? Both, I think. Both? Yeah. I mean, I could spend days there. I love it there. don't know what it is. People? Or... Yeah, yeah, I think yeah, it's yeah. the people. Yeah. It's just another... Well, they move vibe. a lot of call centres to the north because it's, yeah. you know, yeah. it's like the old joke... Northern it goes south, terrorises people by saying hello and leaving doors open for them, isn't it, you know? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I come to London, it was, yeah, it's forlorn and how I remembered it, you know what I mean? Really, what will you land is just like, fuck, like, yeah. intense. Yes. Is it? I'm not, no, no, it's no, a no, bit no. overly dramatic saying that intense, but yeah, it's like, whoa, it's, it's, it's different, you know what I mean? It really is. It is intense, dude. It's like, there's no, there's no two ways about it. It's just I mean... Like, I could buy a two-zone travel card last time I was here, you know what I mean? Now you got to tap in, tap out mm. everywhere, you know what I mean? And I'd assume most places are cashless, aren't they? Yeah, just tap, 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 tap. Although my, my more recent problems have been that my, my phone does not work on the, the TFL, which absolutely doesn't matter. I tap, it doesn't work, tap, it doesn't work. So I've been relegated to being in, uh, in my neck of the woods for some time now. Mm. Hence why I couldn't meet you. <laughs> well, yeah, I've... 
I haven't got a smartphone. No. <laughs> I've got a dumb phone, you know. <laughs> no, no, yeah, yeah, I know. It's, it's well, it's it is. It's a, it's a cheap to uh, use phone, right? We thought you, but is that is a kind of a, a, is that through security you choose not to have a Tekka's phone? <sighs> it's a functionality of it. I can phone someone, mm. they can phone me and get in touch. Mm. I, I don't need any of that extra stuff. You know what I mean? Mm. When when you get on the train, everyone's like like zombies, head head in the in the phone. You know what I mean? The more, the more smart devices you've got, the dumber your society. Why, why would you need to learn anything if you've got everything you would potentially need to know in your hand? Not particularly smart, you mean? No, society in a whole, yeah. the more smart devices you've got, the dumber your society, because why, why would you need to learn anything? Ooh, interesting. Because yeah, okay. it's doing everything for you, is it? Isn't it? Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? What do you think AI? <sighs> Creepy and very dangerous. I'll give you an example on something something that I watched. Now, I watched this about, I might be proven wrong if I was to get it up on YouTube, mm. but it was consumer surveillance, and it was about a lady in America and how her dad found out she was pregnant before she even knew. And how it came to that was she would do her shopping online. So she'd buy all her products online, and she changed her shampoo. Some, something slight and innocuous, she changed her shampoo, mm. right? She went from a strongly scented shampoo to a non-scented shampoo. The algorithms in the computer thought, because she changed her shampoo, uh, she was pregnant, because when you're pregnant, your, your sense of smell's heightened. So that had picked up on that. In the meanwhile, her dad had been around using a laptop, and because the algorithms assumed, correctly in this case, that she was, that she was pregnant, she was getting little things for, like, nappies. <laughs> so... A dad rightly pulled her and goes, oh, well, this is all coming up on here. Are you pregnant? She's going, of course I'm not dad. Of course I'm not dad. He's going, well, all that's coming up on there. Have you not been searching for that? No, no, I haven't. Anyhow, about a week later, they found out she was pregnant. That's fucking mad, isn't it? That's mad. Okay, so let's throw that into... I, I, that's fucking creepy. I, I'm not creepy, comfortable yeah. with that. For let's throw that into... I mean, big, big tech and other people don't need to know that much about my personal life. So let's throw it into the context of graph then. So how, how do you think that impacts, you know, illegal graph in 2024? Well, how did, I'll go further. How, how does it impact policing in general? It's all done retrospectively. Mm. And it's like Chief Wigan. These crimes don't solve themselves. They, they can just, like your boss, you know what I mean? If you've been ringing in, mm. saying, ah, oh, I'm ill, I can't come mm. in, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, that's odd. On your social media, you're out in the pub last night. Yeah, on the boozer, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <gasps> no, not, not even as a tracking so device. Kind of, Obviously, the tracking device. So you're kind of policing can, yourself in a way. You are. But you're constantly doing that, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> and you're paying for the pleasure because yeah. you've got a contract with someone. See, you're yeah. snitches. All of you are <laughs> snitches. Uh, from no, but would you, would you trust big tech in that, that sort of way? Uh, I thought I, it's, it's uh, better the devil you know. It's an evil, a necessary evil if you're going to do mostly from the entertainment side of things, but you could also apply it to sport. You could Anything with a, that, that helps uh, heighten your understanding and opportunities, that's what... It, tech is to me really but it's how you use the tech as yeah. opposed to how it uses you isn't it exactly it, it, it's you exactly. putting that filter on it and you deeming what what is appropriate yeah, yeah. now the phone i've got is appropriate for me mm. Mm. <laughs> and if i was hypothetically going pin i wouldn't take a phone with me you wouldn't take a phone with you no not mm. at all mm. i mean back in the day you just make sound arrangements with someone wouldn't you yeah it's true i mean you yeah and I, I would gauge it on individual to individual so if i'm going with Royal and I know him to be punctual, mm. I'm fine. Mm. If it's meds and I know he can be a bit late, he's got a 20 minute grace window for, for, for that, you know what I mean? Mm. Then I'm going to paint by myself. Mm. <laughs> so, so, okay, yeah, this is interesting. So, because that's how you would do it, and I've lived longer my life arranging things in that format as yeah. opposed to relying on them technologies. Yeah. Because no one will make k k kids, will make solid arrangements. Do you think p people prefer that? Like Royal, big up Royal, you know, great example of somebody like you say, punctual on it. Well, I'll, I'll go for it. Like, I, I've, I've got a, I don't know what you call them. Um, if you're in the drug fraternity. Uh, burner phone? A, a burner phone, if you're yeah. in the criminal fraternity, you, yeah. you refer to them as that. He's got a burner phone yeah. and it's in a mobile, he leaves it in the house. Mm. So it's, it's a kind of like back yeah. in the day, if I wanted to chat to you, Mm. Off peak calls mm. after seven, yeah. you're going to be in the house, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And, and it's a free phone call pack. You know, I'd, I'd ring people in that manner. You know what I mean? Mm. I, I think it just means people don't make firm arrangements. 
Yeah. Like, I'm going to do something with you. We'll go there. We'll go to that gig. Yeah. What time? I'll text you when I'm leaving. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. What the fuck good is that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sort of Are you going to be there or not? Be there on time or no, not? No, but it's like, yeah. it's like pick a time. Then you've got yeah. to run and diary. I'm on the bus. I mean, yes, if you're late, it's fucking handy, but you can gauge that individual. If you've had an interaction with that individual, you can gauge on. Yeah, like you, like when I got to met you. I was looking for which way you would come. I, d- I don't think I got it right. Dude, he, w- he walked out <laughs> and he was you were almost there, like pointed. Yes, I see you. <laughs> like that's mad. Like I didn't even need to. A lot of time, people in London, I have to describe whereabouts it is. You were just like hi. <laughs> no, but like, <laughs> is that an intuition? Just, no, do, but do, like do, I was talking to you on on, on camera, uh, off camera about coming to London. Yeah. Like the first time I came was nineteen ninety one. Yeah. To paint, yeah. and the world was a bigger place. You know yeah. what I mean? I got an overnight coach. I can't remember it was a long time ago. But like we went to one place to paint. We had to shake a leg. Mm. We went to another. And I just had some vague description of someone of mm. this other of the place. Obviously they give us a stop to get off at. Mm. But to get to the yard, uh, yeah, I seem to remember, remember it being a bit of a not a massive height, but you know you, you know what I mean? Yeah. I mean you've been busy. Um, so, so from like, very early days, haven't you? You know, you've used intuition wisely, and you even come into London a lot. And um, but you, you've got to be as a, a, a writer. So, so like, if you were painting something on the streets, mm. and, you, and you're looking at the people come by, my God, they're a student. They're not going to give a shit. Mm. He's over fifty. He looks like a job's worth. Mm. He's got a dog. He might be local. Therefore, mm. this is in his area. He could ring them. You know what I mean? Yeah. So you got to you got to think and process all this sort of stuff. You know what I mean? So yeah, it's, it's perhaps informed intu- intuition, but you, you you've got to do it. You know, you've got no smartphone or any mm. device for that. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you know, it's you as a person. It's the human component, and it's the human experience you're getting out of doing that, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. I mean, that's one thing that graph teaches you, isn't it? You know, use your intuition. Stay. You can't. You can't be complacent and totally rely on that. But no. you, there, there is a big element of that. What's the biggest thing that you discovered up to this point? You know, harking as far back as you will, where something suddenly the penny dropped, and you were in a situation. You were like, "Wow, that's a bit of um, insight that you've suddenly clocked." You know, something of like, "Wow, like." Well, well, well. Now most most people. Yeah, they're on the fucking phones. They're yeah. on the zombie. You know, yeah. I, I forgot who you had on your podcast and it says uh, like adult pacifiers. Mm. That's a fucking great term and I'm in 100% agreement with that. Mm. Like people, because it still freaks me out. You're like walking down and someone says, hello. Mm. And got, is it pods? They've got pods in and they're talking on the fucking phone. Yeah, yeah. I, I think they're addressing me, you know. Yeah. Like, Whoa, what, what, what the hell? But, but, but now, people don't look at the environment. They, they, I mean, yeah. You're too busy in a rat race. You're too busy mm. driven. You, 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 it's just, I mean, they've got a tension engineering us to keep you on that thing, haven't they? Mm. And then there's endless scroll. But people, like I've seen it today, like I'm, oh, it's like Basil Fawlty. I can see someone walking towards us with a phone and like they don't even look up. And I'm like sort of tutting and mumbling mm. under my breath. Mm-hmm. You know, shrugging and going, Pff. yeah, yeah. You, you know, it's. They don't care. I, and the one, I don't know. I don't know if there's an age range where it's applicable and I'll cut them some slack, but, the, the, you know, they're the of an age where you should should know better, you, you mm. know what I mean? I'm like, nah. Like, mm. I, se- I seriously don't want a smartphone. Mm. I've never I've never needed one. Sh- should I need one, then I might... <laughs> I mean, mm. I think my hand will be forced at some point where mm. you, you can't get them phones, you know what I mean? Yeah, that, that's and this, the this only is, thing. This, this, this is not necessarily graph related although it, it, it could be handy and that sort of thing because mm. you can take the battery out you can do that you know what i mean but like i've, I've got no mm. I've, got, I've got no interest you know what i mean A rare and, having, breed. And, and having that buffer yeah. be, be, between things mm. like these technologies i think it pierces me because I, cause I would become that person pretty pretty, pretty quick i think mm. you, reckon? Some, so, yeah. you reckon because it's just because the nature of it it's like yeah but it's engineered that way. You've got an endless yeah. scroll, the same yeah. technology they use on a, on, a, on slot machines. Mm. You know, it, 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 do, you think, um, do you think the technology is a result of why perhaps um, there isn't enough pains taking effort for people to... You know, I'm saying this, not, this isn't a, you saying it. You could correct me if I'm wrong. That, that there isn't enough um, attention to detail on people's pieces? Do you think it's because they don't have the time or attention to develop or you know, progress? 
Uh, can you be more specific but I think with the location of them pieces because necessity dictates if it's a Hall uh, of yeah, Fame a Hall, a hall of Fame you. mainly um, yeah yeah more Hall but, of Fame but yeah. like I'm, I'm not sure because I don't I, like, you, you don't really do Hall of Fame like, do you yeah. no I do but I'm not opposed to them I, I, I do mm. you know what I mean they, they are handy but again, again you had someone on your podcast and Hall, hall of Fame that was like Strictly kings are better. You had to do burners. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah, baps. Yeah, big up baps. Yeah, you, 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 you had to do yeah. burners. Now it, it is ju just somewhere you practice. Mm. And like, yeah, if you do a hall of fame, that's a pen to graffiti. That isn't graffiti. Yeah, you, yeah. You, you, you know what I mean? I'm gonna, you know, yeah. it, it's definitely that. But yeah, like graffiti so fragmented that like you've got like system boys are only like. I collect subways with only three stops, and you've got two minutes. You, you've mm -hmm. got that end of it. Mm -hmm. You 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 you've got like your style writers in halls of fame, mm -hmm. and you've got you've got a whole you know, it, it, it's evolved and it's gone in many different directions. Good, good, but you can you can sort of. Do you like that? You like that the fact that it's vast like that. So some some aspects I might not particularly like that avenue, but I like it that to know that it's there and that is there for someone. Mm -hmm. I'm not I'm not gonna beat down on someone who who, who does that. Yeah, yeah. Like with, with my painting. It'd be, I'd be doing graffiti, it would be illegal, mm -hmm. but I'd be a generalist. Mm -hmm. I'd want to get up because, it, yeah, using, if you're a subway writer, if they're not going to run that, yeah. if that was New York, if, if, if you assume the origins of graffiti come from New York, if they mm. had a subway and never ran it, no one would see it, try to run with it. Mm. it. It wouldn't be the global thing me and you were having this conversation about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, so there's, there's whole different bits. I, I was a generalist, I want, I want to get up. I want to get seen. I want writers to, to, to like it and understand it, but I, I'm not going to eliminate the public. I want them to see it, and I want them, I wanted them, you know, if you're putting your ass on the line, it, it, it's for everyone, like yeah. an advertisement. I'm, I'm Blanket gonna, impact, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. An overkill with that, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, like, yeah. like coming down, I haven't been living for a while, so I don't know some of the names, but the, the names I do know, it's no thrills. It's just fuck you. It's straight in your face. Mm -hmm. There's people like ten foot and talks. Mm -hmm. I totally get that. That yeah, overkill, yeah. that repetition, and yes, a, a Joe Public could look and go, "Well, that's just rubbish. Anyone could do mm -hmm. it." But the, the the component they're saying anyone could do it is just the written word. Mm. That the actual act of doing it in the location, they're not getting it. Not anyone could do that. Only no. only a few select individuals yeah. c c can do that. Yeah. So you can take something so basic as just. Just writing like that, and it's it's not easy. No, <laughs> you, it's not. You, you, you know what I mean? I, I, I completely agree. Um, so the metros up in uh, Newcastle getting uh, well, they're, they're they're running at the moment, right? Yeah, they're running out of the yard. Not only are they running, they've only run in the context of a back jump previously, mm. but the the system itself is, um, yeah, they're, they're renewing it and they're bringing in a new fleet. Uh, they've had electrical problems. That was supposed to come in in November, the first cars, which which have already been painted. They were painted... Uh, I can't, Shady and someone else, I think. They, they come in from Scandinavia. They were painted in London before they even got the Newcastle, you know what I mean? Wow. They painted in some freight yard on the back of that, you know what I mean? Wow. And they've been painted in the hangar before they've even came out. But the old stock, yeah, they're running stuff from the yard. And I've seen five or six pieces. It's this, 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 sorry... It's 2024, 20, back end of 23. I've, I've never seen that many pieces, oh, really. Wow. <laughs> I mean, yeah, if you did if you did your back jump, yeah. it would run for that day or it might yeah. run for that peak hour and yeah. then midday they'll take it out of service. Yeah. But, but the, the, yeah, the kids are winning over the system. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they, they really are. Not in a big way, just a little, mm. just enough for you to see it. They, yeah, yeah. You know, they're, they're, they're winning. <laughs> Not an easy task. Newcastle has had its history. I mean, I think Dism, I think Rape, I think Era, I think a bunch of older school cats, but people that were really, were you just here, but graffitism was a great medium for getting the information spreading for its time, wasn't it? Uh, it would be the internet of the day, I guess, to use yeah. a, a lazy sort of analogy, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Crazy thing, but before that it was fancies, it was black and white photo yeah. copied fancies, which 
kind of would lean more to the punk sort of culture that yeah. I went before. And yeah. I mean. Have you got your books with you? We've got to show you some books, some of the um, TNS books you've got. If you've got yeah, any. yeah, I have. Yeah, let's see them. I'll... How do we do this, Keller? Uh, just go get it. <laughs> Grab it. Grab it. This is this is where the mask. Uh, there's slight uh, tinge of regret with the, with the mask. <laughs> yeah. Here we go. So that's the, the last one. There we go. So this is uh, the Night Shifters TNS, the new styles. Uh, let me get some fucking pages going in. There we go. Some bad boy business. Serious stuff and all from the Newcastle area. Gatsby, Meg, I mean, some nylon in there. Funk. Yeah, I mean, look. You know what it is. You know what it is. Uh, fucking fantastic, and a great, a great example of where the scene's at. Well, it's it's, right it's, it's supposedly yeah. It's done in a documentary fa fashion, so it's like a window into that world. You yeah. know what I mean? And, and another good side to it is people don't get the photos pressed, no. uh, printed anymore. You no. know what I mean? So you just left. You just left with stuff on hard drives, this, yeah. that, and the other, yeah. where. If you, do, if you do that, it, it is. It's like getting up. Mm. But also, you've got a hard copy of your stuff because mm. I, can't, I, I couldn't recall the last time I got a photo printed yeah. of anything, whether it was graffiti or non-graffiti. I've, I've probably not printed a photo in, I don't know, decades. Yeah, it's it's like a whole like another 15. bag of headache, doesn't it? It's it does, like... yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you just got memory cards here with this on a hard drive with that. And you just don't see your stuff. You know what I mean? You don't see your stuff. And then when you when you when you it's like being reunited with an old friend, you're like, oh, wow. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah. I remember you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally, totally. Give us a give us a broad uh, outlook on what what is what the Newcastle scene is saying right now. Like you know, because we rarely have spokespeople coming up. You know, and it, and for us, it's a it's a magnifying glass into the scene. Uh, I probably yes. I'm not trying to pick you apart on that. I don't know a lot of people doing graffiti. Does that constitute a scene? I'd, I'd perhaps say Talk to me. there's many pockets of scenes there, or potential scenes. Yeah. Like a scene, I'd, I'd, I'd look through rose-tinted spectacles and because of the age, I'd go, oh, well, you mm -hmm. needed a writer's bench for there to be a scene there. He's you know? in his 20s, by the way. <laughs> you wouldn't even know that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you wouldn't know. Um, there's like pockets of scenes, but it, 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 it's got a subway system for mm -hmm. a start. So... It would run parallel t to a, a, a mini London, I guess. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because, like, subway writing is just fragmented in draft tourism. There's just, there's just loads of people doing that. Mm. But, like, when I was prolific in doing that sort of stuff, the things you'd want to do if you're from this country, you you try to hit the four subway systems. Mm. I know someone will split hairs and go, oh, that one's actually a light railway. But mm. you'd, you'd want to do Glasgow underground. You'd want to do London underground. You don't want to do Liverpool, you know, that's a mm -hmm. subway system. Or someone say a light rail, but it's got, it's got third rails and that. And you'd want, you'd want to do the metro, you know what I mean? Mm. And now, like, my ear was intermediate with that, where it was just sort of cementing. And now, like, you can see kids and you've never seen their graph, yet they've did 300 panels and they've... Yeah, it's yeah. crazy, isn't it? You know, like, the Wow. Almost like, fast track. They're, they're prolific, but... the. Mm. You go and you go, well, I've got a Newcastle. I know they're from Newcastle. I haven't really seen them. It, it, it's weird. But, like, certainly quite recently, uh, possibly pandemic-related, streets is getting a bit, a bit of traction and, mm. you know, there's some streets, you know what I mean? But, yeah, there's, there's halls of fame. There's legal spots. There's semi-legal spots. There's track sides. So, so, so it's... Yeah, a, a very mini London. Because mm -hmm. you, you, you've got to remember, Newcastle really isn't a big city. It's more of a town masquerading mm. as a city. It, you know, you could walk. You could walk across. You know, if you pick the, the shortest point, you could walk across the centre of Newcastle in 15 minutes. 15 you minutes? You, 15 minutes, yes, easily, easily. I mean, if you, if you, if you go in like, uh, yeah, here market, Central Station, yeah. you could do that 15 minutes, you know what I mean? I mean, it's got a big, it's got a big knock-on area because yeah, I was gonna it say. covers South Tyneside, the system itself. Yeah, you, you know what I mean, and uh, the, down the coast. So yeah. it's, 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 it, it, But again, it would be no different to saying, well, that's just the circle line mm. in London. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's, that's it's right. It's still, if you just took one of your lines, a borough, yeah, or yeah, a borough, yeah, yeah, it'd be akin to that. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I get you. So, so 
how, to, how far back do you remember? Because you know we're talking to a vet here. Uh, never mind when you began, but how far back do you remember a scene? Uh, I will call it a hip hop scene for argument's sake. For the to, for it for it to descend into. Well, the it's UK. through it's through that filter that it came in. You know, yeah. it came in so, in yeah. that. Sort how of, early was that for you? What did what was the, what were the first early, uh, you know, well, pieces? I was, yeah, I was I was aware of it. Uh, before I started doing pieces, you know what yeah. I mean? I, I was aware of it. But again, you've had people on where graffiti, not necessarily subway oriented New York graffiti, graffiti was prevalent it, 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 like, because you had the overspill uh, yeah. of punk and mods. So, yeah, so, that's so, right. so, like football hooliganism. Yeah. So you had the overspill of that. So, you know, I, I, I saw that, you know what I mean? Yeah. And yeah, 86, I would have seen pieces. Yeah. Uh, like, I, I'm from a rural part of the northeast. You know, I'd seen pieces in my local park in 86 and that, you know what I mean? And it, 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 as a kid, uh, I'd be drawing cartoons. Like, yeah. well, like I assume most kids, you, you'd be yeah. trying to copy a Garfield or, yeah. you know, draw them in the back, you know, because I wasn't really mm. academic. Mm. So at school, you were daydreaming, clarting around, mm. being inventive or drawing on the back of your book, really, mm. weren't you, you know? Yeah. So when I, when I saw that, I was like, all right. But, but I'd heard, yeah. Uh, about that period, Dougie Fresh, the show would have been on the, yeah. on possibly top of the pop, certainly on the radio. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So it came in that mm. that that package. You know what I mean? I think people misunderstand the mindset of, like, and this is only speaking from ex limited experience. Is if I put my mindset into using a spray can to do a character, compared to putting my mind with a spray can to do, a, a, you know, some letter form or piece. It's two different mindsets. Do, do, do you get them coming from? It's like the creative process, the creative freedom is different. Uh, I mean, yes, and like when I did it, yeah, my first pieces. Uh, yeah, I, was, I was still at school, so I did my first pieces in, in the six weeks holidays of nineteen eighty seven. At that point, what you saw was generic words and not individual tags. Mm -hmm. So like, and you'd have different people chipping in because, because, yeah, <laughs> we'd have a we'd have a boombox. Mm. We'd, we'd be playing your bum Russia show or something. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's, it sounds really sort of yeah, virgin on cheesy, but batteries were fucking expensive. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. if you have a big blaster, so you were chipping in for batteries. Pack, bang, yeah, yeah. So you were chipping in for paying with your friends. So you'd see who had the best assets. You might you might be better at drawing characters than me. Mm. I'll draw the letter in. Such and such might have a steady hand. They're doing an outline, but you would all chip in and get it on together. Get yeah. it on together. Yeah. So the so the pieces invariably said break hip hop. Yeah. And then someone would put S C in here, S in, so it said chip shop. You know, there's all yeah, some yeah, clown yeah. writing that on it. <laughs> so they said generic words. You know what I mean? Yeah. And so some of it, you know, so so I'm trying. I'm trying to think. With the kids, yeah, I, th I think I fancied myself as doing a character at one point, which which I've shied completely away mm -hmm. from. But you'd mm -hmm. like, yeah, you were looking at like a uh, red dwarf and stuff like that. Nice. At a Sinclair <laughs> Spectrum, so you're looking at Crash magazine. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So, so you'd be you'd be doing you'd be doing that. You know what I mean? So you'd you'd have your generic word that might say Zulu, mm. might say break, might say whatever. Mm -hmm. You go, oh, I want to do a Mickey Mouse. I will draw a boombox. Mm -hmm. Or you try to do. Uh, a cityscape, so it looks a bit more. Even though you were living in a village, you wanted a cityscape. Yeah, you yeah, know yeah, what I mean. Yeah, so yeah. the depiction. So you're like you might be like, oh, I'm good at this. Yeah. I can do these silhouettes. <laughs> you know, so you'd, 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 you'd begin on that. So you didn't have a direct sort of sort of thing. You were all. And then I can, I, can, I can remember when it switched to, to, as opposed to a group thing, it was you as an individual, and you were getting up, and you sort of left the rural village and you were on the transit system and you wanted an individual tag and you were pushing that and your yeah. friend was pushing yeah. that. But I can remember doing like panels in Saltwell Park and you were running you you were running before you could walk because it was Sicker who I think might have been there with me. Sicker, yeah, wicked. And there's another name, big up Sicker. And like I was trying to figure out, so if I did my shadow that way, what side does my highlights go? You know what I mean? Yeah. So you might you might like it was, it was just hard, so I, I, I don't know. And I, I, can, I can remember Spray and Art, and there's a Vulcan piece in there, and I could see you use stencils mm -hmm. for the highlights, mm -hmm. there's like big shines. And for like my GCSE woodwork, I made like a, 
on the band saw, I made like a highlight, you know, the glints. Wouldn't, down, I yeah, made wouldn't one of them. shine thing, yeah, yeah. yeah, so I made one of them. So like, yeah, I just sprung that on one day because you know, because like, the shines is the last thing you're doing on your yeah, piece, yeah. isn't it? It's the fucking worst. You get them wrong as well. It is. You fucked it. You fucked it. <laughs> you, you know what I mean? Fucked. Like, 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 like now with digital photography, if you were doing your first piece, what I would suggest is. Mm. Take a photo before you put your shines on. If you're not confident, <laughs> then you've got two things. So yeah. you can sort of, yeah, I can just remember one day rolling Notice that out and going goes. like, yeah, I'm in charge here. Here I come with the shines. Yeah, and yeah, like, yeah. Yeah. You know, you're doing the shines. Like, yes. He's like, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> it's how they better look. <laughs> no, no, the proper bling, you know mm. what I mean? So you just, you know, like, it's hard without sounding old with the technologies and the, the purpose made pain people have got. You know what I mean? Mm. We, we were mixing paint and making your own nozzles. You know what I mean? Did you used to rack? Did you used to rack a lot? I was fucking shit. Really? <laughs> <laughs> I tried. I tried my best. Don't, don't get... but, it, but it's like anything. It's like, yes, I'm saying I come from a hip hop. Look at this cutie, witchy American urban culture coming over. I come from that. So you'd, you'd try. I, I never tried break dancing, obviously, because I'm fucking. But like, you you try different things within that, that sort of thing. So you'd, yeah. you'd read it and you, you would, you'd try to rack, you know what I mean? Yeah. But like, I didn't make it work for me, so to speak, you know what I mean? And it, it, it was flawed because time I was painting tracks and doing trains, mixing with some other people, mm. they, invariably the people who, who were up, didn't work. Mm. So they're on the doors, so they could do that. They could stay out late. They were mm. racking, you know what I mean? So I'd be doing it on a weekend because I, cause I worked. And, yeah, we didn't get prosecuted. But I got caught shoplifting twice in as many months, really. Yeah, 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 yeah. But then I was like, well, the good rackers were fucking selling your paint at fucking a pound a can, you know what I mean? I was earning 90 quid a week. Well, so well, well, I was like, it's a win. So I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? Yeah. But yeah, just like how like, you like, kind of make just how you try way. anything else. Yeah. You know, like you go, right, I fancy myself as characters because I'm more arty or I'm yeah. like, like racking with something. <laughs> it just yeah. come in as an element. It yeah. come in as like, right. And obviously the appeal of not having to pay for your stuff is fucking great, isn't and, it? And mixing you know, a paint as well is part was part of the art as well, wasn't it? Well, yeah. I mean, yeah. But like everyone like <laughs> Had little accidents, you know what I mean? <laughs> because you're increasing happy the fa- accidents. Well, not not as far as the parents are con- concerned. When you got spray all over the kitchen, yeah. yeah I remember true. more when the first time I went round here, his mum's, you haven't been doing this, you daft bugger. He's been mixing paint. There's, you know, because you increase yeah. the pressure in one can and yeah. potentially lower the pressure in the other. Yeah. And you've got like a WD forty nozzle. Yeah. And you're going, so you're making pink smooth rights. You're making all that shit. Fuck. But yeah, just like. Concave bit, yeah. It gone convex. It was <laughs> forming out the side, and then it was just cartwheeling around his kitchen. Oh my uh, god! You know, so yeah, yeah, yeah. So you had all that thought. You were making nozzles, like you would, you would, um, yeah. You'd melt a bit of polythene, mm. just a solid blob, put it over the hole of the cap, and get a pin and make another sort of to make it skinny, skinny. And you'd get like you see now our skemos outline. Yeah, you'd get like that. So if you're doing your shines, you're doing that. And I remember, oh, wow! So, so they've just actually in the last four or five years started to make them. I think they call them a stencil cap. Where yes, it's, that's it's, right, with a long kind of. No, oh no, no, I know, with the dial that you can dial it around. No, it's like you've got where the nozzle goes, then you've got a, a rim there. Yeah. It would sit on the rim. Yeah. And you've got a gap between the nozzle and a bit of plastic, and there's a hole. Oh yes, I've seen it. Yes, that's right. You can keep like, it on. Like, like, we, we, like, yeah, I went to Bridlington Street Art Festival in, in Slick and Risky from LA with paint, and they had like they were doing lines like that. It wastes a lot of your paint. Yeah, but but you were like making your own nozzles. You know, you were, you were, you were, you were doing all in fat caps. You would yeah, you would nick damn start nozzles. Yeah, but if you failing that, you would just cut another hole in the back, make the slit wider. You know, so you were you were making you were, you were making Ill, everything. Intel, you're getting mad Intel, <laughs> mad Intel right here. I hope you're taking notes. Fucking awesome. Fantastic. And then, obviously, it's going out and road testing these things. And, uh, uh, yeah, I, like you'd, you'd already made like silences for your paint. You'd figured out, you put a magnet on the bottom. It's the ball bearings. It's, you know, because the, the, then, like Montana, sort of. Say that again. So you put a magnet on the bottom of the can. Yeah, so it holds the ball bearings so you're not rattling. So it's not rattling. 
I mean, I mean, just, just even if, Fucking even if you're genius. But they made them. Now you can get like silencers for cans of paint. Like it's a big like, plastic rim with a magnet on the bottom. What silence? But like you, you, you were doing that. You know what I mean? <laughs> Man is fucking blown. No stern, stone unturned here. Like this was. It's, I can't take myself. But, but like you were reverse yeah. engineering what you saw. And yeah. you, you, you were thinking out of the box to, to to do stuff. You know what I mean? You you would see what had been done. And you're like, well. How, how do you do that? You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. And, and inadvertently, sometimes you may come up with an idea that hadn't been forged, but you saw it on something else and thought it was that way. Yeah. I can't think of an instance. I'm not going to try to stick credit for anything. Oh, no. I can't come up with that. But no. yeah, of course. You had, you, had to, you had to be inventive. You had to be inventive how you'd get up. You had to be inventive with your tools. Everyone was making... You know, you'd be making... You'd be making your own markets out of deodorant things, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. With, with the roll-ons, with, yeah. Yeah, with felt. Yeah, yeah, you'd be doing that, you know? And like, yeah, I, I remember Kezer had nicked, literally unscrewed one of the panels on the off the metro platform, and was making ink to try to see what would stain best. You know what I mean? <laughs> I mean, yes, we, I got I got this uh, sign here. Let's just fucking yeah, road test this. Yeah, yeah, of course. But then, then like, like yeah, brew shit. We started coming to London, and we saw all the insides, and knew it was punch and five and leather dye. You know yeah, what yeah, I mean? Fibbins, yeah, that's right. Um, because you, you've you've done a stint of uh, of tube action, and uh, there's a bunch of heads out there if they're watching now will certainly know uh, the reputation of Inch. Uh, t- tell us a bit of, a bit more about your uh, your your London uh, history. <laughs> it's a small stint. You know? Yeah, yeah. But we still, I mean, we yeah, still yeah, rep that. yeah, like. Yeah, it was just following in the other people that came down, you know what I mean? Yeah. I was pretty late within the, 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 the bracket of people who, who I hung out with. Like, yeah, Keza, he had a different tag at the time, but he, he, he'd he been down before. Mm-hmm. He did Farrington by himself. He met Drax in there. And nice. uh, I think, yeah, Drax was possibly doing... I don't think he did it, but he turned up, and I don't know why. He's doing that sex, Drax, a rock and roll whole car in Farrington. <laughs> but like, he got Drax. But, like... Yeah, Mist had been down. Mm-hmm. Graphs had been down. Sheffield people had been down. Mist, Mist Carl had been man. down. Yeah. So it just seemed like a natural pr- progression, like London and Tubes, and that was the closest thing to New York because it was bare metal trains, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. What, what would stain in that, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? And they would run, you know? Yeah. So you're like, right, we've done that, you know, you've gone from there, you've gone here. You're like, well, just keep pushing. You're like, right, we're going to London, you know what I mean? You mentioned paint with Cherish as well. Yeah, Cherish and Sky did. Uh, I'm trying to think where the writers bench. We met them there. We went to Loughton on on the earlies, uh, mm-hmm. like eight to ten. Mm-hmm. So before they take that, yeah, and um, you know, you've, you've took, you've, and uh, yeah, I, we crossed over the tracks. Then it's an embankment, and they were down. But it, it must have been getting hammered because they just cut the bushes down. So mm-hmm. I mean, I was fresh. So we were doing the aisles. Yeah, but like I had no idea what was because like. I literally come down with a bag of paint. Mm. At that stage, I had a handful of outlines and just a bag of mixed paint, so, so, like mixed cans of paint. Mm. So I had some chromes and this, that, and the other, and I had no idea what I was doing. Mm. But, like, yeah, Cherish had a key. <laughs> Opened the door, and I was like, fuck me, this is New York. This is, like, something off fucking, you know, Star Wars or something. Ooh. It was just such an exotic world. You wow. know, it was such an exotic world. Yeah. And I was like... I wanted to do some insides. Yeah, 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 <laughs> I just yeah. thought, like, yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, I wanted some innocent insides now. <laughs> yeah, like, they were like, no, no, I'll come do it. And I was like, oh. And then when I got in, because I'm quite tall, I'm like, I can't remember. Do you know offhand, Loughton? What it, would yeah, it be Loughton, set, yeah, yeah. Would yeah. it be centrals? Yeah. Uh, what so far as what? So I, I could, the, the rolling stock they would have in there. Yeah, I could Loughton. pretty much reach the top of the, the, the car. So yeah. I'm like, I'm doing the top of the bottom silver. <laughs> yeah. And it started that, but we, we, I think we got seen going down the embankment off the in traffic trains up there. Right. Uh, I just remember Cherish being next to me and then running out past Skyer. Uh, and we could see orange vests down the bottom. And, yeah, we got out, we grouped, and he just told us to go to uh, South Harrow. You know what I mean? Stressful. It was stressful. Yeah. Uh, not at all, no. Really? No. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't it never phase graffiti writers, does it? The, the, the thrill of the chase is part of the, the act, mean, isn't it? Bearing in mind, so I was a teenager. It was like, 
you know, like you do things to get a rise, so you got to chase. Yeah. And, and you got to wait, you know, it's like, yes, you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, it, it, as you get older, it's like Mare on Star Wars. You don't want to be seen apart from the artwork coming out. You know, you're more cool, calm and collected. Yeah. But, as a, but as a kid, you want that opposing reaction, that polarised reaction for someone. And the best thing ever is to, like, just be finishing your panel, mm. get chased and get away, you know what I mean? That, that's the... the, the, the the, the perfect thing, isn't it? You know what I mean? Love it. We don't because condone out any of that on the podcast, by the way. You know, so it's nice little stories. This is just a conversation. I mean, you just nice little stories. Don't try it at home. <laughs> Please. Thank you. Actually, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, your question? Things and stuff. Yeah, well, actually, I've just come to, to this here. The, um, we have ourselves a uh, uh, back and branch line uh, model <laughs> railway, which is a bona fide thing. It's not, this isn't painted. This is printed. This is an authorised uh, model train. I would imagine goes onto those Hornby kind of uh, jobbies, which uh, you know we, we know a lot about as kids. Uh, and look, if you can see that. What you have there is an inch, a bona fide inch train. Immortalised. <laughs> how did this come about? I, I'm not sure how it came about. I knew it existed was... Uh, I got I got an email of the NM uh, with the image of that, and when I first saw it, I thought, ah, "Someone's yeah. copied that onto there. That's not a." But it's even like aged the panel, like the colours are faded, and you can see the dirt marks off the thing and everything. But you know? I'm seeing look the site here. This is how legit it is. If you can see, it's got the barcode and it's got all the details with sprayed train. It just happens to be. <laughs> Inch tra train, that's incredible. I, I know as much as well. I know where it, I did it in Thornaby, and that was photographed in, in Glasgow. Oh, really? So, so that, like, they did research and they, they got a genuine photo of some graph, so it was authentic. Because I just thought you would set some graphics board away and do a generic word, yeah, yeah, because yeah, yeah. that would be like glorifying. Well, it has it's glorified me, but it would be glorifying yeah. someone, you know, yeah. you, you've you've yeah. But this is legit. They took the shot and then they put it on there. They put was it on there anything there. else on the train apart from that? Like uh, a, anyone else or anything? Yeah, there was, there was a whole row of them. And we painted several others, you know what I mean? The, the one next to it, I did a big penis spunking out the word inch. <laughs> <laughs> they like didn't that. put that on there, did they? Yeah, <laughs> strangely, they didn't do that one. Yeah, that's a shame. I, I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think who was there that night. I think Chiz might have been there. And he... If, if it is that night, he got fucking stoned and he's right, an LBS, little bastards, and he spelled it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> he's that suited. Was. <laughs> who else have you painted with, brother? Who else Who else is a, you know, top of top that you've painted with in the past? Because, you know, this is yeah, well, fucking crazy. Yeah, like, like, like me crew mostly, you know what I mean? Because they, they, they're your friends. I mean, you've had a, if you travel, like Skyer was a big hookup. He was there that night yeah, with Cherish. Yeah, big yeah. You know what I mean? And that was a window into London. And I've just did Halls of Fame with him, and it wasn't later on. Mm. I bumped into uh, Scholar and Chang in Labrador Grove. Ah, Scholar uh, and Chang. Go on. And I just big up Chang, big up Scholar, all day. Uh, so I started painting with them. What was it like painting with those guys? It was great, because they were enthused, you know what I mean? And it could, it could, it could get a bit... Um, yeah, I, I remember they were like, I'll meet you there, and they're going, like, where's that? And I'm thinking, well... I think the first time I went peeing with them, I met them at up near Tufnell Bar. I went them at Holloway Road, and they were like asking me, "Where's that?" Hmm. I'm like, "You're from London, mate. <laughs> <laughs> do, do you not yeah, know yeah. this? You should be telling me." <laughs> but no, it, 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 it was good. And the first time I went peeing with them, I, th I think, yeah, I went to Highgate, and we're just ushering in the new Northerns. And I mm. took a load of stone chip to do a stain. And I thought, <laughs> right, if I'm going to do these, I'm going to do like a, a black and white. And I'm gonna just fucking make it stain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Got there. It was one of the, the one of the new cars I had. Well, I knew at the time this yeah, would yeah. be sort of '99, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. late nights. Yeah. yeah, but yeah, I did. Uh, yeah, I did the world's smallest dub at uh, Royal Oak with them. On that, <laughs> you know, the big fume in the yeah, yeah. I mean, anything's gonna look small. It was along the other end. Yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, like we just got on there and did some stuff. You know what I mean? It was good because. Yeah, they were just young and fucking thirsty for it, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, it's a beautiful, it's a sweet spot in any graffiti artist's career, isn't it? Well, like when I painted London, 
the, the, I didn't do many track sides, but there were the, the West London up that way where, we, where I did them. You know, there's mm. that. Uh, I'm trying to think what was on it when you go into the pit. It might have been a hair piece on the white port of ah, hood that had like okay. an a ace playing card instead of one of the letters. I, I did a dub under that bridge. Wow. I remember a car came on and we just we had no idea how to get off. Yeah. And just the fucking fence was massive. So, yeah, so you just, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's just the things you just do, isn't it? <laughs> Oh, it was normal behaviour, you know what I mean? Normalised, isn't it? Becomes normalised. Well, yeah, if you're right, that, that's, yeah. <laughs> What's the craziest scenario you ever got into through graph? What's the craziest story you ever... Where you're like, fuck, this this is not normal, this is some other, other shit. Uh, I'm trying to think, I was trying to think, because I've seen your podcast and you ask that question. Well, you had three and a half hours to work out on uh, the show. No, <laughs> come on, but <laughs> I've been waiting for... I've been writing for 36 years. 36 so, years. You know, so, so yeah, it's like to back, back out and go too sheer, but, you know. 36 and like years. A, a, any, any night you go out, yeah, it's potentially that, you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, I, was, I was trying to think of, I don't know why, I was thinking, like, I'll think of a London one so it's relevant because I'm in London and it's a London yeah. story. But, yeah, we did whole cars in South Harrow. I brought the chrome and the stone chip down, like, I think Royal went to uh, Chrome and Black, bought some Montanas for the background. Uh, a couple of weeks, he, he was living down here, Shepherd's Bush way. Um, mm-hmm. and I, I, I did South Harrow twice back in the day, and this was when all the scrap cars, so you had that Elk, was it a Davis piece? In yeah, there? yeah. All that, it, was like a, it was like a Hall of Fame. It was yeah, like yeah, 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 yeah. who of London. And obviously, if you did that, you were joining on to that. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Like, right, we've got, we've got to get Associative, yeah. So, so, you, so you, we've got to get a whole car in there. Um, and about two weeks before, two weeks, a couple of months perhaps before, we'd been in and did panels in the middle of the day. And I was like, this is fucking wild, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? And we, we spent loads and loads of time in there looking at the insides of the trains, mm. f- photographing all the panels. And then like, well, he might have did two panels, and I, I just did the one. But like now we're going to come back and do a whole car. But by that time, you were at the top of the yard and you mm. could literally, because he's going, oh, we're coming down. I'm like, ah, oh, no, you can see that. Yeah, so you can you can see that from the platform yeah. there. So we, so we went back one one night the next time I was down to do it. And I, I try to remember the orientation of the, of the spot. There's a wood to the back and to the side of the houses there. The tracks is, is, is there, mm. uh, and there's a park like there, and we came in from that way off the tracks right. that way. Cause, uh, yeah, previously I'd come in the back through the wood, um, and we like into some greenhouse and we found a chair, so we got that. <laughs> but like when we got off at South Harrow, I noticed there was a maintenance van yeah. da- down that side. How yeah, yeah. I think you come in through the houses to get to it if you're official and a worker there. Yeah, yeah. And like I was like van there, and it was it was on a, it was on a night. Um, it was dark. And, mm. um, I'm trying to think of the time, but like, so we got over with this chair, got to the yard. At this point, I had a sorry, can you sorry, uh, sorry, I got it, I got it. Royal had a had a camera, so he was filming everything. So we yeah. we filmed us cutting the fuck if we'll have yeah. this. We filming that, doing yeah. all of this. Um, got in. Did a whole car, didn't take any shots, coming back the next day for, for, for daylights. So we go back for daylights, we're in the yard, we're filming everything because it, it was a Hall of Fame. It was a Hall yeah? of Fame with, with pure, pure names. We filmed loads of it. We're in the driver's cab, there was like scum, or like stickers mm. off like the, the tube strikes, like off the 80s even yeah. in, in the front of these. There was like the destination rules like that, we were mm-hmm. doing that. Anyhow, we saw, we saw, uh, we get out, but we were fucking seen by someone on the platform had seen us. So, so you got out of the yard, back yeah. over the tracks into there. Yeah, yeah. Oh, fuck, we've been seen. We've been seen. It was like a London underground worker had oh, seen us. Fuck. And I'm like, oh, fucking hell. So, like, I mean, it's, 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 it's like kids stuff. I'm like, right, we'll jumble up who's wearing what clothes. Yeah. So, you know, see, so he's yeah. got a description. Yeah. <laughs> Go on, Royal, put your coat on inside out. <laughs> I'll get my jumper. I'll undo the bun of my hair and yeah, yeah, yeah shit exactly, like that. Exactly yeah. like that. You yeah. know what I mean? To make us... So and then we went round to High Street and he had his camcorder in a brown paper bag. And we're like, right, we're not gonna go on the tube station, we're gonna wait till it's coming in and we're gonna fucking peg it up there. Mm. So we're standing waiting. 
and then just fucking plod turned up. <sighs> Used to. You got descriptions of people looking like you. And like, yeah. And like we do, like, yeah, yeah. I'll put your glasses on, yeah, yeah. you turn that coat yeah. inside out. <laughs> I'll sit there. And I, it, 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 we were fairly obvious, but you're still thinking, oh, well, we made the effort, we tried to disguise. Yeah, 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 yeah. And he goes, what are you doing? Come here. And he just took us in the car, at which point we rewound the tape, recorded over, well, set it away and reco- recorded over everything oh, shit. that we had on there. Yeah. And he goes, right, there's reports of graffiti. You were seen in there. We're going to take you back to the, the, the station, South Harris Station, and we're going to see if you were on camera off last night. So they take us back to the station, take us in, and this, the, the plod got there pretty fucking quick, and yeah. there's like three or four cars. And we're sitting in there, and they get the London underground yeah. work, and go, and he goes, there's no tape in last night. And he says to his mate, the other colleague, he says, go down there and see if you can see any graffiti. And he says, like, there's no point. The place is full of graffiti. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we, we were like, we're art students. We just passed on the train. We thought that looked interesting. We would get off to take some photographs. Yeah. And he started explaining how dangerous it was. He's given us all this thing. Yeah. And we were pressing him for questions. I, I knew if you're going to get raided in a yard, yeah. they turn the electricity off, don't yeah, know, yeah, just yeah. turn it down. <laughs> so if you, you're painting the lights go out in the car, yeah. bit, you're going to get fucking raided. Yeah. Like, and I've got certain protocol. I don't know whether that was to do when, when Ray's passed, passed yeah. in knees. And I yeah. don't know if it's got anything to do with that. I Just the, the bigger picture. Yeah. So he did all that. <laughs> then the officer plays his trump card. He goes... We've been watching that spot. I was like, oh, fucking hell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He says, last week, someone had cut the wire from the fence, unraveled it, wrapped it round the third rail and rang British Transport Police to say someone was in the yard. The whole fence was fucking alive. <gasps> so they'd been watching that. Wow. And I was like, fuck. But, but, but they, did, they, they had nothing on us. We taped over the footage. Yeah. The, 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 there's no... No tape in the... No. Because it wouldn't be a digital thing. It'd be like a... Yeah, when I'm old school... Yeah, yeah, it was like and... that. So there's nothing, nothing in there. Bro, that's mad. There was nothing in there. And obviously couldn't identify any fresh fucking graffiti in there. No. <laughs> no, 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 no. Exactly. It's and, too much. And he took it on face value that, oh, well, we kind of are. We just thought it was interesting. And then just let us go. Bro, that's bonkers. <laughs> but I, 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 I don't doubt what he was saying, but I have no idea how you... Wrap something around a third no. rail without getting electrocuted. Yeah, getting the, yeah. How and I, I don't work? know how the he, he didn't elaborate how they realised it was fucking live, but that that's what the police said the situation was, and they'd been watching South Harrow for that, and we were kind of in the mix with all of that, and they just oh, done all yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> all of a sudden, wrong place, wrong time, or whatever. Wow, that's crazy. <laughs> how does someone wrap a fucking thing around a third rail? Well, anyway. I, 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 I can't Cause, cause, see. Because I'm trying to think, and I'm like, well, if a train goes by, would that knock it off? There wouldn't be a day go by when I don't think about it. <laughs> I, I, I can't, I can't, but like... How does that work? How does that work? But yeah, we were in there, and it was just... It's just fucking nice, you know? Just mm. all that history there. Yeah. And I, I painted some of them from there. They, they went to, uh, with Mist. They went to Rotherham. They made into Gillette razors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they really? melted down, you know? Really? So really? You, so you're possibly shaving on a Jubilee, or <laughs> would have been a few years ago, you wow. know? Wow. Yeah. Big up Mist, by the way, you know, I've heard so many people say, oh, you know, he used to, used to go, he used to go there. Dulio mentioned it on his more recent podcast. Yeah. Like, no. Man got a bow. Got a bow, you know. He's a nice guy as well, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. And he'd be one of them, yeah, he, he's continually painted, but there's a point where he made a conscientious shift in doing, like, some people saw some of his old pieces and saw he's more modern and go, is that the same guy? Mm-hmm. Like, he wasn't... Mm. Or isn't mm. scared of shaking it up a bit and changing it? You know what I mean? No. And like you'd be the oh, forerunner yeah. to all the hips, like him, Petro, and Carl mm. would be the forerunner to all this. Yeah. What, what you see is commonplace now. You know what I mean? I'm trying to think of an example of someone who would write and do it like in a because pe- people people are very derogatory and says is that you or it's like naive or hipster mm. graph or outside yeah, graph yeah, or yeah, yeah, you get yeah. labelled as you or graph by people who are mm. purists. You know what I mean? But he, but he, he was prevalent then, mm. and impactful. And then he was innovative and ushered in. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, I see like, like, yeah. like Carl would be a fucking huge influence. Yeah, yeah. On, on, like, like, because I was thinking again, like one of my favorite crews at that point would be TFW. <laughs> you <had> Siege, <laughs> you <had laughs> Sept, crazy, yeah. You, you, Carl, yeah. you, Petro. Yeah, 
I mean, uh, and all with like yeah. fucking very, you know, if you've got a crew, it says DDS. Yeah. Teach might shine stylistically in, in, in my eyes. Yeah, and the yeah. rest might, there's sort of a remit of what is a DDS style, isn't there? So yeah, yeah. You, you know what I mean? I do, yeah. But for them individuals and that crew, just fucking crazy different Killed styles. It. Crazy, crazy different styles, you know what I mean? It's so true. I hugely overlooked crew there. Not in my eyes. <laughs> Essential, you know what I mean? Essential, yeah. And that car, I, 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 it seems like I can describe the whole car. I think it was in Welland Garden Cities on the, on the little platforms. But it was like, it had a big character punching sign. Yeah, 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 yeah. Crazy, yeah, yeah. I mean, there's, there's all your classic, you know, your, your cold crush uh, dukes. Yeah, that's right. And cast panels mm -hmm. for its era. Mm. That, that's equivalent. That's a complete game changer and mm. a standalone, like, legendary piece, you know what I, I mean? Agree. Fuck, yeah. I want to see that, uh, what was the Drax piece you just said there? The, the, the whole car he was doing? I don't know whether he did do it. He was in sex, Drax, and rock and roll. Dude. And firing them. Drax, send that up. I want to see it. I don't know if he <laughs> actually incredible. did it. but incredible. Oh. Keza, mm. in his previous incarnation, bumped into the firing and that is what he was... He said he was doing. I, he did meet him. He did know him because he mm. introduced me to him. I do know mm. the validity of it. I don't know whether Drax went back and did do that, but that's, mm. that's what he was he's doing. It's a nice, 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 nice little number. That I love that. Idea. I mean, I used to, I used to, uh, yeah, yeah. One period of painting with Scholar and Chang, and that was mm. me in. But Piers, mm. and I was always like, you should do something like Nobody Beats the Piers or Piers <laughs> the Wiz. I'm like, I, I could, I, I could, I could, it was yeah. endless fun you could have. Um, with that, that tag, you know what I mean? What was it? Uh, Prime said he was looking for a piece um, that him and Teach did called Primary Teacher. Like a whole car, <laughs> primary teachers. Right, yeah, yeah. Now, ain't that something? You know oh, what yeah. I mean? Apparently, he's, he's forever been trying to look out for find where that is. You know? What they did it and didn't get shots, and they didn't just assume yeah. the EPs got yeah. them, or someone might have caught it running, yeah. got on the bus. It's mad, isn't it? I, I love anything like that. Missing yeah. yeah. pieces. It, it, just, it just writes itself, doesn't it? Yeah, it does, yeah. Sounds like a pun as well, doesn't it? <laughs> but yeah. It's like urban le a legend, isn't it? These yeah, yeah. pieces. God. Yeah, yeah, you had that without the internet, you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Like, like London to, 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 to us was a big place, exotic, and it was Chinese whispers, you yeah. know what I mean? It was was like, it like going back up to, to, to Newcastle once you'd done, you know, a couple of two panels or whatever? <laughs> For that week, you'd just be fucking painting because you've seen what it's like in London and it's not like that up there, and you're like, oh, we've got to make it look, look like look London. harder up there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, it was like, it was an energy level, you felt. It was like mm. an energy, a graffiti energy drink. Mm. You come down, you're like, fuck it on. <laughs> 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 yeah. You know, like, yeah. Like, when I first got, just like, yeah, it was, it's not, yeah, just all the stands, you know what I mean? Like, mm. yeah, first time I came to London, got off to King's Cross, went down. Mm. Fuck them Robbo, fucking ours, mm. stands. Crazy. There's probably been stained for two or three years. Well, well, ours, like, certainly two years, you know and what I mean? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And might I just say, to caveat what I just said there, it sounded quite uh, maybe London-centric. I... I love the scene, the UK scene as a whole. I feel like there's some, like Bristol, Jesus, let's start with Bristol, Birmingham, you know, um, but Manchester. Places like Hull. Yeah. One of my favourite. Crazy. Uh, uh, Pinky. Yeah. You know, he gets absolutely no mention. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big up Pinky, 100%. Uh, you know, then yeah, yeah. places like that, you know. Just in Sheff levels. Sheffield, which, which Leicester. <gasps> Sheffield, absolute. Now I've never. That's such a dedicated scene to the Sheffield. Um, Sheffield scene is fucking incredible, man. Love but, it. But we were coming to London for lots of different things. Like mm. we, you wanted a name buckle. We got yeah. a four star general at Camden. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We used to buy Hype magazine. That's from it. there, the Australian. That's right. I think it was a graph mag originally. Then it was broad. It was hip hop. You know what I mean? Yeah, any man had like pink Krylons and you know just shit like that. Oh, I ignored that. <laughs> he just never fucking never sold his but, but half we, the stuff he had in there. <laughs> Bless him. We were coming to buy records. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I, I like black music and black music mm. didn't make it north. I mean, yes, mm. you had North and Soul, but yeah. You know, it's it's rock you get. You know, so buying records. Yeah. I, was, I was I was coming to London. You know what I mean? I'd go to bongos and yeah. stuff like that. You know what I mean? Never reached the top. I remember when Swainy come down a couple of times. Again, big up Swainy. You know, it was it was just such it was such an exotic. For, you know, the age we was as well. You know, because I was from London originally, but you know, there was enough culture about to to be in a, the presence of a record store that sold hip hop and. 
drum and bass and things like that. So it's quite quite rare. I mean, you, you you're it's obviously different now, but you know, at the time, it was you know, well, as importing stands. Yeah, but like bef- before the internet, you'd get record mailing lists with, with, yeah. with, with you do mail on Liberty you'd... Grooves and things like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah of course. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I rate that old school. So like, yeah. Like when I met Chang, I, I remember he was into like, because I, was, I, was, I like all sorts of music, but I was, in, I was into hip hop to about 93. I followed it to like, like when I, when I got, got money, when I was in, got a proper job in 1990, mm-hmm. I was sort of retrospectively buying stuff, 86, 87 onwards, because I didn't have that. I just had a tape. At the time, yeah. But like I got into it, and then I was buying it about 93, so Black Moon, I got you open. And then there, then there was a bit. Uh, it went west coast or whatever yeah. it went or down south. Yeah, yeah, but when the indie yeah. stuff came back, so like Fondlem label, I was keen yeah. on that. Brilliant, yeah. And I could only get it like mail order or go to Bongos and get it. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you know, like London was. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. <laughs> you know, Fondlem. Um, what was the other ones? Um, what was a uh, uh, peanut butter wolf's label? What was that called again? I don't know. I didn't. I didn't. Raucous and all that. Sort oh, of Raucous. Thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of company flows on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah love company flow. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Good times, man. So, what's the future, my brother? What is the future for the Inchman TNS? Uh, I've been doing some prints. We've been doing more books with with with, with Gatsby and and Meds and that. Yeah. And just, just chilling. Just keep doing it. I've got a a print release coming up with Electric Sheep. Nice. Um, yeah. Like I'm always going to paint in one context or another. I'll, mm. Always, always like it. You Never know leaves I mean? your blood, does it? it stays in you. Probably the reason, like, I was having a conversation. I don't think I could drink. I, I, like, no. if I got it, yeah, I, yeah, I don't think I could stop in. No. I don't think I'd want to st- stop in. That's but, your addiction. That's your impulsive thing. Well, I've, I've, I've your I've Achilles heel. Nah, I've got two, t- yeah, I've got two hobbies going on in tandem, and one keeps the other at bay. <laughs> it, it, it's, it's record buying, you know what I mean? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I think if I didn't buy records, I'd yeah. have more money and more time for paint. Yeah. And I think I'd have been in prison and that might have changed my opinion. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, of, of graffiti because, like, mm, in Newcastle, my, 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 all my peers are contemporaries who were my age, did time. Yeah. You know, straight up did time, you know what I mean? Yeah. So it's about me doing graph instead of graph doing, doing me. Doing you, yeah. And it's a bit like, you've seen Fury in Northern Las Vegas where he says, never yeah. turn your back on a drug. <laughs> never turn your back on graffiti. It's, it's a fucking monster. <laughs> just fucking have you, you know what I mean? Yeah, 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 totally. Well, you never know how much he's got you until you've gone too far and he's really got you, right? Well, I do. I was, uh, there's a 10,000 bounty on me. I was fucking public enemy number one. <gasps> and... I was like front page of the papers, you know what I really? mean? I was, I was on Crime Stoppers. What? <laughs> you, you know? So, yeah, they're trying to do like a Fister type thing, you know, all that kind of £10,000? Yeah, there's a, there's, a, there's a bounty on me. Wow. Uh, and then the papers were in a story that I was in Australia because someone did an inch tag on their bridge that looks like the Time Bridge, you know? What? <laughs> what? Bonkers. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, it'll fucking turn you back on it, it'll have you, you know what I mean? It'll. They'll ruin you for that shit, you know what I mean? Very few people can say that. I mean, you obviously you get the crime stoppers, but to have a bounty to that value on your head. Yeah, no, it was, yeah. Mid-90s, fist of time, you're talking like that kind of era. That's what I'm talking with yeah. him, yeah, yeah. But, yeah. like, for, for me, it was equivalence. I mean, they made it... I mean, I, I, yeah. I know a mess and I know a bit of the personal story. There was other things, but but the way that mm. was put across is he got five years for graph. Mm, that's right. They were, they were trying to... They were trying to mm. I know for a fact, third party of someone else arrested someone because the evidence fitted to a certain degree, not mm. enough to su- substantiate. But they're, try- they're trying to give me two years under the guise of catching this other person. They're, they're, going, to go- they're going to make an example of me, you know what I mean? Wow, yeah. You, you know, like... B- b- How would you escape it- something like that? How do you avoid... <laughs> I mean, that's... <laughs> oh, that's energy. Oh. What, did you, what did you do? How do you... F- how did how did you brush this well, one like, under the like, carpet? Well, like, like people would be the headline was pinch inch, so there's just people coming up and nipping me like that. You know what I mean? It was like oh, Newcastle was a small place. It was, you know what I mean? It, was, it yeah, it's oh, hard because yeah. you're like like I don't, I don't know. You want acknowledgement from your piggies, but you want to get up enough so that it it resonates culturally in the bigger thing. How far too far then? If it's already resonating. 
I, I don't know. I mean, think things like that. It, yeah. it, sort, it sort of bled. You look like I was telling you before. Come on. Yeah. It was in. It was in Viz. <laughs> yeah, Viz. Viz <laughs> that, oh, yeah, of course. Yeah. Had a poor stuff. Yeah, those who remember <laughs> Viz Comics, you, you know who you are. Uh, yeah. And, and there was an inch reach on the bike. Oh, whoa! You know what I mean? Crazy. So, so it was bigger than commerciality it like was, level. It was bigger than graffiti, and it was in popular culture. You know, like, like yeah. There's there's one time we had a commission with BR mm. when he came into Newcastle to paint the bridge. And this, the, 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 we had a graffiti coordinator for Newcastle, mm. and they did a lot of positive research, and we got to paint the track sides. Mm. But when we got there, I was just painting over my my my, my graph. <laughs> but, but one of the BR workers come up to me, and he was talking to me, going, "Do you know that inch? Because because it was yeah." <sighs> It was the one name you could pull out of. What did he say? What did he say? He said, like, you know that inchy guy? And he was talking to me. And yeah. I'm like, the odds of this fucking happening are fucking slim. Fuck yeah. And he's going, they've caught him. <laughs> I'm like, you know, like, a kid from down south, they caught him with his ladders in the freight yard. And then a fucking panel went by, an inch panel. I mean, it was all, <laughs> it sounds like I'm exaggerating. I'm, I'm honestly not exaggerating. There's wow. people who was there, like Gatsby were there, who could verify it. And he was just going, there it is there, there it is there. They've, they've got him, they've got him. And I just want to call shit on him and go, mate, you like any old yeah, bloke yeah, yeah, in the yeah, pub yeah, your yeah. age? You're talking up to yeah, the fucking I, I, shit. shit. I'm inch. Yeah. But the hilarious thing is, beyond that, they'd, they'd cleaned all the graffiti off and did the, the commission yeah, graffiti. Yeah, yeah. The team fucked it up and they then cleaned our graffiti as well as the other bridge. So we got to do it twice. They paid for it. This, this, is, a, this is a spot. Uh. Historically, for perhaps a twenty-year period, I've had yeah. pieces there, and I painted it twice legally. But like the frog march, these like shaved gorillas in high vis vests, and goes, "This graffiti stays. This good graffiti. You clean that graffiti. Good fuck- graffiti stay. Bad graffiti go." And it, it, it's just <laughs> like, so I was having that conversation with him, telling me how I was from down south. Neanderthals, and man. How Absolute they call Neanderthals. Me. And then they cleaned the fucking wrong wow. the wrong bit and we got to do it again. And then, like, just a fucking train going by with my fucking panel on it, you know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, yeah. for a freight train. You couldn't write it. You couldn't you write can, it. So, so, like, there's loads of surreal moments like that where, like, nothing else in life's getting me them set of experiences, you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. The freedom itself, all it owes me is the experiences I've had for that and they're, they're precious and they're personal to me. It's you, personal, you, isn't it? You know? So, yeah. But, like, yeah. It's personal. It's a personal thing. Yeah, yeah. And like I've, I've personalized, I've personalized my city because, like when when you live, you live in a city, you've got a monologue coming one way from an authority point where it's either commercial stuff like appeared to be in the, the city in your public space, or stuff telling you what to do. Yeah. They, they, they don't like graffiti getting in there and shaking it up a bit. You no, know what I mean? No. But, like, yeah, it feels like my city because I've been part of the visual noise there my, my entire life. Well, not my entire life, my entire painting life, which, which is... Oh, that's such a But it's how you it. react with that, that public, deemed public space. Yeah. And we're getting less and less say on that, you know what yeah. I mean? So you're going to get more and more of the opposite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, there's a surveillance in that, but yeah, yeah. It's incredible. What a lovely way of putting it, for me anyway. I think it's fantastic. yeah. yeah. Newcastle stand up, man. We've got Donna Jenner in the building. So the magazines are going to keep on going. The the Hornby trains are going to keep on rolling. Yeah, role model. Official. <laughs> yeah, official. <laughs> man, it's been a pleasure. Thank you so much for joining yeah. us. My brother. Inch in the building. Can I just big up my man, Alex? Go for it. I B- said big before. up to Hoy. Go for it. Big Send up, up. Alex, aka Shit Ninja. <laughs> that's all, that's that's all you got for us. If I start naming graffiti yeah, people, yeah, yeah, I'll miss yeah, yeah. someone, and yeah, then, yeah. It, then it'll be, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, you're in trouble. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You'll be I mean, out. I'd need, need to write a list and, like, just. Yeah. And can, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He can't see anyway. <laughs> yeah. Beautiful mate, markup he's got going on. <laughs> uh, Killer Keller podcast, Our Light In Was Out of Fashion. What a banging podcast. I'm going to enjoy editing this one. Um, big shout out to the share of carers. People are sharing. Tell a friend, tell a friend. All right, crime don't pay, but neither do they. Don't talk to me and I wouldn't. Stay lucky, people. That's nice one, Inch. Peace. Peace. Thank you, man. <laughs>